Hi there, welcome back to the Hagen Renickers part two of shelf seven. They are wonderful little, mostly inexpensive figures that are very cute and they don't take up a lot of space, so they do tend to multiply. Um, it, these spice shelves are very useful at displaying them so that you can actually appreciate uh, the individual sculptures. So onward and upward. The back shelf has lots more birds. The parrot, dad, and baby here are pretty scarce and hard to come by. This is a whole mess of the original 1940s and 50s chickens. They made lots and lots of chickens and ducks and birds back then. And the thing about the chickens is A, they're beautiful, but B, a lot of them have this little extra red on their comb and on their wattles. And again, that red is very fragile because it's at painted on after they fire. So it's very hard to find them in good condition with that red. This guy has a lot of his red rubbed off. This guy has the red rubbed off of his crest. So working on a collection of these birds can be very challenging to find them all in good condition. And then of course variations tend to multiply the collection as well. These two, the bigger ones, are from the uh, specialty series that they did back in the 90s and are really pretty. But again, even though this red isn't that bright red, it is still put on after the firing. So this get, tends to get rubbed off a lot. Um, on the next shelf down, these little dragons are cute and hard to find intact because their little wings tend to break off. There's always variations. So this dragon family can be found with wings and without, the wings obviously being more difficult to find. These snails, the escargot mama and baby, are hard to find because gold is not a fireable color. And mama has these little antenna sticking out of her head. So they are very hard to find in that color and in good condition. Same with the bug band back here. We have a ladybug with cymbals and a little guy with a flute. This little guy has lost his instrument. I forget what he had. And then a little worm with a little trumpet or a wind instrument of some kind. Um, they made them in two different time frames. I think this is one of the original bug band and I think these are the later guys. Um, but they are all very hard to find in good condition because they are very fragile. I love all the little variations. So Mama Bear here, I spent a very long time looking for one that still had her bowl, her little um, bowl of porridge for her babies. The seals here have are very difficult to find with their original balls, their circus seals. They're with a little set of circus animals that Hagen Reniker did. And then these worms here, I spent way longer than I should have trying to find a papa with his pipe, a baby with his little beanie frizzy helmet, and then mama with her little bonnet on. These two guys are both the same mold, but he has his little spinner on his beanie, which is another little variation. And then a, a reader, so I had to have the worm that is reading his book. And then the next shelf down, turtles. I love turtles and these guys just have beautiful paint jobs, very detailed and again with the gold and the after fired paint jobs. This anteater is exceptionally hard to find. He was only made for about six months. So the Hagen Reniker production period is every six months they will issue a few new pieces and retire a few new pieces. So you'll find their um, sales catalogs will be spring or fall. So sometimes pieces that didn't sell well can only be made for about six months. And so he is one of those pieces that wasn't made for very long, this anteater with his tongue, probably because he was so long and fragile. He probably got broken a lot in shipping and on the shelf waiting to be bought. Then we have this little guy here is also an R spruce bunny. The little gray is applied afterwards. So the R spruce pieces tend to be more matte. These guys are glossy and shiny because their gray is fired on. And then these guys are more matte because that color is painted or airbrushed on after the firing process. So again, very hard to find in good condition. And when you find them that have dirt on them, it's very difficult to clean them because you'll pull that paint right off of them. These bunny families, the blue and the pink bunny families, are very old um, and 
very difficult to come by because they weren't produced for very long. Um, all of these bunnies back here, all the blues and the pinks and even the browns are that original old bunny family. Um, and then in the front, do, 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 we have a couple more of the Disney pieces. So we have Nana from um, Peter Pan, Alice from Alice in Wonderland, and Flower from Bambi. And this Alice, many of the Hagen Reinecker pieces were copied. This Alice in particular was copied. And so the way to determine if she is a Hagen Reinecker piece is her arms are actually have a space between her arm and her body. So you can kind of see in the video that there's little holes in between her arms. The copy does not have those holes. And so that is one way to tell a copy from an original of this particular piece, the Alice in Wonderland. So that was pretty quick, but um, wanted to get through it. Hope you learned something and get out there and find yourself some really cool Hagen Renickers. Hope you enjoyed and join me back next week. Thank you.